Hello and welcome to Kya Lag Raha Market, our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USD and our analysis. In this show we do every day, uh, what do we do every day? We do chart reading, we do open interest data reading, we do FI data reading and we try to figure out if the market, uh, where the market will go the next day. We also try to um, uh, predict uh, uh, the market for the next session and we try to figure out some meaningful trades that you can do the next day. Uh, so the first question, uh, Ajay Thompson's question is the right question. What happened yesterday? So we use software called Restream.io. Restream.io people, if you are listening to this, man, what you guys did yesterday is absolutely bad. So uh, basically it's a multicast streaming thing for various channels. We use that thing and uh, their stream just crashed and then it never went live. So Sagar started the stream, it crashed and I could never stream live. And these days YouTube does not allow you to live stream. So unfortunately, because YouTube does not allow live stream and our streaming software went down and you know, <laughs> that's why we could not. And I really, really, really regret it because I wish I could go live yesterday because uh, broadly, because this was what we had predicted for yesterday. Yesterday was a clear cut call sell day. So I'll just... Uh, uh, you know, uh, explain uh, the deal yesterday and I will also explain uh, what is going to happen next, right? So, the first, uh, so let's just blank out everything. So, first and foremost, let's look, look at chart, right? Nifty chart. So, we talked about this two days back that there is a top of the channel here and it has some rejection and we also said that there is a smaller inner channel. If it goes back into this channel, then we can see some more movement and for yesterday and day before, we had said that the long, <coughs> it, it, it makes sense to go long only if the channel, that is this channel breaks and that is somewhere around 1800 and 1800 plus is the point to go long. Till it crosses that level, it is absolutely a shot. So we had said that, you know, it's a uh, it's a wait and watch. It only makes sense to buy a dips around 17,300. Then 17,300, say we went to 17,800. And then we said, now it makes sense only if you break the channel, right? On yesterday, which we did not go live, we said it is not a time to go along because there can be a dip here. Today, there was a 1% dip. And our analysis was, it's a good time to sell. Uh, calls for this expiry right now let's see what is changed today first and foremost it has gone back into the inside of this smaller channel and personally i think there could be a downside all the way to 17600 i don't think it is going to break 18100 with these because this is a really really big and important channel go sna to take also we talked about this that bank nifty is in a channel and we said day before yesterday that look this can be a fake out if it is sustaining above this channel then it is a buy if it does not sustain above this channel it is a sell yesterday it actually formed a bearish piercing candle which means it stopped started the red started above the green stop and went all the way to below green's middle and then it was a clear cut reversal signal and it was going back into this channel there was no rejection and today we have a dip back into the channel now we can see a movement all the way to 36000 100 which is a gap fill and perhaps we can even see it going further to test these three moving average this gap is very likely to get filled which is 37,100 odd levels now if bank nifty is going to go another 500 points there is a probability that nifty will go another 100 200 points so it is definitely a dip market so what are the reasons inside the short term channel rejected at the top of long term channel and weak fake out. So, what's a fake out? It's a breakout which is not really a breakout, right? So, opposite of breakout is a fake out bank nifty. All of these are pointing towards some kind of a deal. Now, let's look at the second piece of the puzzle option. Option chain is like such an obvious thing. Everybody sold 17900 call and got out of 18,000 put. So, this is bearish. This option chain is now looking mega bearish because there are towering open interests on call sides, not so much on the put side. So, let's write that down. Option chain 18,000 has huge, uh, sorry, 18,000 puts removed, 17,900 calls added. Overall, risks at 18,000. 
what is PCR? PCR is 0 0.3. Now this is dramatic, right? Because two days back PCR at 1.3. Yesterday it was 0.9. Now it is 0.7. Now this is proper bearish territory. Now let's look at FIDI data. FIDI data is again bearish because now there are 1.7 times as many puts as calls. The gap between call and put you can see has diverged. Uh, 19,000 calls sold, 3,000 puts sold bearish. 126,000, uh, sorry, 126 crore index futures sold bearish. 2000 crore stock sell significant number after such a long time all of these are pointing towards bearishness so sell uh, puts more than call calls sold today futures data is 100 cr neck but this is tiny neck 2000 cr sell is a big sell verdict dips is there 18,000 plus is unlikely in the short term. So I, I don't know if it's a reversal <laughs> because that takes some more conviction to say that. But it is for sure a dip. Call selling is the way to go. No questions asked. <clears throat> so maybe we can see a move all the way to 17. This the top of basically gap fill, right? 17,670 whatever level. Now let's look at Bank Nifty and I swear to God, like... Okay, so I have to go to I mean, I can actually show the. <laughs> uh, so, like one of my big regrets, I, I, I kid you not, okay. Yesterday I bought US dollar at 4.45 p.m. So I bought, so this is where I am really, really cursing myself for do, doing all the strategic BS I keep giving about. You know what, never buy naked options, always buy strategies, risk management, blah, blah, blah. Right, I keep doing all this nonsense, right? And I don't know why it is really stupid. Because yesterday I bought 500 quantity of USD INR 75.25 call option, which is splendid, right? I mean, you, you can do the math, right? 500 quantity of seven, and I bought it at what? 20, 20 paisa average, right? If I had stopped there, it would have been magnificent. But what I also did is I sold 500 quantity of 7550 uh, call option. So uh, one of my <laughs> legs show an MTM of 1.6L, the other shows an MTM of 1.1L negative. Basically, if I had just bought that call option, I would have been a much more happier man. But then in retrospect, as my teammate Justin told me after looking at my trade this morning, look man, all of this is true. You would have been happier with only that buy call. But yesterday you slept peacefully in the night only because you also bought the, uh, sold the call, right? So he's right. But I'll tell you, that's not important. I'll, the important part is I'll tell you why I did what I did. You see this, right? This is an inverted hammer. And we were talking about this uh, when we talked about it on, when did we talk about it? On, 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 on Monday. Right, sorry, yeah, Monday. That USD INR has dipped quite a bit, and this is a reverse. So we we said that there is a zone of value coming because there is a hundred DMA and all forming in USD INR, and that you can see in trading view charts here. That we were saying that there it is approaching very close to a horizontal level and a hundred DMA level, and we suppose there is a reversal. Now, here in international markets you see a doji, but in domestic markets you clearly see an inverted bullish ha uh, hammer. This was a reversal signal, so I betted on the reversal bet on the reversal signal yesterday. I hope, you know, I, I wish I hadn't done that call sell, but I mean it is what it is, and it had gone up, right? So now the greater point of it all is USD INR is showing signs of reversal, right? Now when does USD INR reverse? When normally there is some kind of risk coming in the market. So now my problem is this, right? Nifty seems weak. Bank Nifty gave a fake out. Nifty hit a long term channel cut off. Bank Nifty looks like it is going to go back into the channel again. Dollar seems like reversing. All of these look like negative signals, right? So I'll be extremely cautious about market. I won't put money into stocks, invest for long term now. I won't put money into IPOs now. This is not a zone of value. I might be even tempted to sell a lot of 18,000 December call or, you know, 19,000 December call also I can sell. All of that I will be very tempted to do. But in the short to medium term, this does not look very good for Nifty and this is looks like a market which has kind of uh, fizzled out in its momentum. So let me just stop screen sharing. Gokul is asking, 80,000 calls sold, should I worry not? Gokul, I am with you. So, saath mein merenge agar mar rahe to. Uh, mid caps are performing and going up. Nifty is falling. Yeah, Nifty is not falling that much, only 2%. And let's uh, 
also think about it this way, right? Uh, Nifty went up 15% from 15,800 bottom, right? It has to correct a little bit. Uh, going to take December call spread, Manish is here. I'm going to take a naked base December ka call. So, uh, tonight FOMC meeting is there. Oh, okay, but like ultimately, right? If you are chart readers, we read chart. We don't look at uh, events. Tomorrow, RBI policy update is also there. Oops, that is not good. Okay. But again, right, why do you care about what is going to happen in the news if you already know what the OI and chart is saying? Uh, Bharat is asking, can we switch broker from X broker to Y broker? after? The, yeah, yeah, you can. You can just shoot a mail to uh, support at sensible.com. We'll do it free of cost. No problem at all. Uh, what else? Comments, 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 comments. Comments. Fanindra SSK purchased 38,800 put at 368 yesterday, sold prematurely, happy with the profit. As long as it is profit, we should all be happier. But one important thing you have to do, right? As much as possible, try to do a trailing stop loss. Don't take profit because you think it has good gone to a good number. So let's say you bought something at 20 rupees and next day it goes to 80, right? Put a trailer at 60. Yeah, but what if it goes to 100 or 120? Trail by 20 points every time. Why do you want to cash out of a cash cow, right? So put a put like a, like if you bought a 20 and initially man may have profit target was 60, right? Keep that 60 as a trailing stop loss and see how far it goes. If it goes to 80, great. If it goes to 100, now make 80 the new trailing stop loss. If it will go to 120, make 90 the new trailing stop loss. Trail your stop loss. Don't cash out because you are making profit, right? So very important thing. Um so Okay, so largely this is our analysis for now. Our analysis for now is very simple. Please don't long the index now. It's not a good time to long the index. Till the channel is broken and it goes above 1800, it's a bad idea to be long the index. Uh, whether it is Nifty or Bank Nifty, also USDNR looks promising. I won't enter at this level, but if I get a dip of, let's say, half a percent types to go long, I'll definitely be trying to go long the uh, USDNR. So, all right, guys, this is our analysis for today. We're trying to do shorter analysis today. No story, no conspiracy. We'll do it. Once in a week, I think. Too much conspiracy is also not good for the health of the stream. So, thanks again for joining. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, as usual, this is not tips, recommendation, multi-bagger, any of that stuff. Uh, uh, and uh, the most important thing is don't trade because somebody in YouTube asked you to trade. Uh, please make your own decisions very carefully. If you don't feel like trading, please don't trade. The most important thing is that you keep your capital safe. Your trade should not be driven by fear of missing out or fear of opportunity loss or anything. It's like what, uh, you know, uh, Shri Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. Don't, don't. Don't look for results. Do the right karma because, you know, it is the right thing to do. So trading, I, I think the only thing which works in trading is that you do the right thing because it is the right thing to do. You can't make money in trading because you want outcomes, right? So, uh, so yeah, on that note, please keep your capital safe. Please do the right thing and please have a great and profitable expiry. Uh, take care. Good night and bye.